Hi, welcome to the channel. Today's episode, we are dealing with a little art resin. I know the pile looks a little messy here. I have it all set up. The resin is already mixed. Now I just need to add the colors. We are doing light um, fixtures and we are doing a candle mold. So in this video, um, we are going to just, we're going to pour and then I'm going to wait a couple days and then we'll do a reveal together and see what they look like. Um, so in this video, we are, I'm just not really teaching you how to uh, mix. This is a resin of 50-50, which I already did. I let it sit a little while. And so we're going to do the light switches first. We are going to add pink, which I already shook. So we're going to do a, a few little drops. If we can. So here it is. Okay, there you go. There's there's the droppage. Set it down for a second. You take about, for a stir stick, I usually break half of it off. And then just twirl it around. Twirl it around, mix up that paint, get it all inside. You can use paint, you can use, this is all acrylic, but you can use um, really any type of paint. I wouldn't recommend... Um, paint for shirts like ink because it becomes really really see-through so you really just keep going until you get the desired color that you're going for i'm gonna go strong on this this is what the color of the light switches will be okay and there we go we're gonna do gold as the next one shake it up make sure you sh shake it up and just folks it's just a few drops like that have the color up take your little stir stick i don't want to mix the color so i'm using a different stir stick these are skewers i got for a dollar tons of skewers for like barbecue and i just break it in half and you just mix up the color here a little gold action until you get that desired look that you're looking for all right what we're going to use for the little flower in the background is we're going to go with uh caribbean blue a few drops there i'm i'm letting the i'm letting the resin just sit inside the little cups break half of it off and you can see you can see it inside So you can see I'm um, just getting for that desired look. Now you could pour, you know, clear inside. So I could leave it like this if I just wanted it to be somewhat opaque. But I'm going to put blue and pink together inside of the flower. So I'm going to just mix it up. Make sure, make sure the paint's just not a glob somewhere inside. That's the only effect that you won't like. So that's the perfect color for me. We'll go with bright magenta neck or that there and I'll bring it over and you can twirl it around now this is a 24 hour resin um, typically like if it's warm where you're at um, this this resin I'm used for tabletops I'm just using it for light switches and uh, the candle mold it actually floats I, I made one before I just didn't film it so this will be the first one we film and we see how it turns out That's perfect. That's that's good. All right. Then we're going to make one light switch and plug. Green. Boop. Little drop. Kind of letting it set so the bubbles kind of go up top. Um, I don't have a vacuum chamber yet. I I know. I know I said I was going to make one, but I haven't made one yet. I haven't made the time. Uh, pumping out videos and then, you know, having a day job kind of hurts on the time to do be creative. And right now it's getting close to Halloween. Um, that's when I'm making this video. And 
Halloween time, I kind of decorate my office. I kind of craft and, and make some cool things. So that's what I'm kind of doing with my spare time now. So it's kind of hard to be, and I'm not really filming it. Okay, we're gonna use gray. So we're gonna use pewter gray in the green. They kind of give it a different look. We're gonna mix it up on camera here for you. Uh, not gonna do the whole thing, just just enough. There we go. Kind of, I kind of like the idea of it not being perfect. All right, so we are gonna start. We're gonna mix up the pink one more time. We're gonna make, mix up our gold because the gold's gonna go first. And we're gonna do gold and pink for the for the two on the side here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, for this, kind of, kind of do this. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Kind of do that. All right. Um, you may ask Eugene, what are you doing? Um, the point of that is because you can get some really good swirl techniques. Um, so I'll show you here. What we're going to do is we're going to fill it up with pink. We might need more pink. We do. It's okay. We'll make more. All right. So we, we used all the pink there. Now what you do is you... Kind of just take your little stick and do a swirl. Do a do a little swirl. Any any way you want to do it, kind of just swirl. And I'll and I'll show you a better example um, on the next one over. And we'll we'll take a a thin piece of wo uh, wood and scrape it off so then it's flush. But right now we'll just let that sit. And we're going to pour ourselves a little bit more pink because we're gonna need pink for the other one. Pour a little bit more. Okay, and gonna move that. We're gonna drop the pink a little drip in. There we go. And then we're going to stir it back up. So now we're going to stir for our desired color. It's starting to get a little warm, which is good because that's what happens when resin starts to, you know, less movable and the bubbles are all popped up. Which is good. Because we, we don't really want bubbles. Bubbles are not our friend. They're our enemy. Our nemesis. The bubbles. Okay, so what we're going to do this time is we're going to go a little slower. We're going to pour. Like so. Okay. And we're going to kind of do a, a little swirly. To kind of. Mix the two colors in. Do you see how it has a little butterfly? You probably can't see it in that corner, but I'll, I'll do it in this one too. And just swirl the two colors. Kind of give that gold a... Like that. Swirl them in like that. Yeah. The, the noise you hear in the background is my turtles. I have, I have four turtles. And since I'm doing the art next to them, they're being a little rowdy. Just, just swirl it. Just swirl it. And see, see, it will really, it should really do have a nice effect at the end when we open it. Just swirl it. Just swirl it. And now we're kind of done swirling. We're kind of just pour in 
like so. Like so. And we're done with those two. At the end, I will do a nice little slide across just to make sure. But I think the far end one, that one's looking really nice. Um, and the one closer to us looks like it settled much better. But it might need just a little bit of love um, removing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do this one right here. So we're going to do the same technique. We're going to do gray. Swirl a little bit. We're going to... Drip, 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 kind of like that, I think. And then we're going to do the green, sort of like that, and kind of, and do the, another swirl. So we're going to, we're going to swirl that around. We're going to, we're going to swirl that around, kind of, we're going to kind of see what that does. And then just pour it right there, and we're going to swirl it around. We're gonna swirl it around. Kind of swirl the colors, give them a little, let them become friends. We're gonna pour a little bit more just to even out so it goes a little higher. And like I said, we will we'll thin that out um, with a nice piece of wood. All right, the last one we have here on this set, I might go grab a little bit more because I have some resin left over and we don't really want to waste. So what we'll do here is we're going to pour the blue. We're going to give the blue a little, little love in here. It's nice and warm, so it's she's really ready. And then you just pour it in just like that. Pour it over, just like so. I mean, the, the rest of our resin might just fit right in this. This might be all of it. And then we're gonna pour, we're gonna mix our pink up. A little bit more, and we're gonna pour that in. It's okay if it goes over the side. Just be careful. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and just the same technique, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swirl a little bit. You know, like that's what, that's what we were doing before. So let's, let's give the pink and the blue a little love. We're gonna add a little more pink in there. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna add more blue. And again, don't be shy. Kind of kind of put it together there. We're gonna put blue. And we're gonna finish it off with the pink. And like I said, just poke it so then it fills those gaps up. And try to get yourself, you know, kind of push it in a little bit. For any type of bubble that pops up, really wanna get rid of bubbles. We're going to go a little higher on it um, because this one, it was a disappointment on the sense of the lid itself was cut really short. So it's a very thin baseline for, but we're going to, we're going to decorate a little bit, give it a little bit of finesse. I think I think we're good folks. I think 
that one is good. We do have more resin, so I'm gonna go get another mold real quick when I get the stick. Okay, so I did grab one more mold. This is the jar I've never used. So it has a lid, it's two pieces. I think I have enough to fill it, so we are gonna find out. But first, I'm gonna take that stick, like I said, and I'm going to just skinny off the top. Just like that. We're gonna kind of do the same thing on this one. Not that it needs it. You see there, there's, it created a little bit of a hassle with the problem. So when you do have bubbles, use a lighter. So we're gonna use a lighter on it because we're done with this one. Okay, we're gonna use the same technique on this one right here, if you can see it. Okay, and then we're gonna take our lighter. Now these molds are silicone, and for this jar, we're just gonna go, we're gonna go, um, this color, we're gonna go this color, and we're gonna go red. I, I don't know, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm not really, I didn't take our classes on the sense of what colors go together, I'm just gonna wing it. Um, we're gonna move this right here so then you can see it better. But I am gonna use, reuse one of these things. I'll reuse pink for the red. And just a few drops. And I'm gonna reuse the sticks that I have as well. It's definitely getting really warm now. Um, so it's not going to last much longer on the sense of it's gonna harden. So this is the color we chose. I'm gonna move this piece here and I'm gonna move this piece here. So you can see it. We're gonna pour red, we're gonna pour red, and then we're going to, let's put it in the other blue one that I had over there. Actually, before we continue, let's get rid of our bubble, friends. Okay. We are going to pour. Actually, we'll just pour. We'll just put it in this. So we're going to use blue as the big base, and you can see that I'm just using whatever leftover I had, which uh, might not be enough. But you know what? I can use all the other colors. Why waste? I say, why waste? So we're just mixing enough to be happy with it. Pour a little bit in. The lid so then it kind of matches and pull the rest almost the rest inside our little vase I'm about to get a small one here like so because you want to like a, you always want to mix those colors uh, just for coolness factor you know this one we'll just twirl around a little bit and then give you a little green inside. What you do to one, you want to do to the other. That's what I say. A little bit more red. More red. Looks like the lid is. You just got to go around. See how it bubbled out a little bit? 
because there's gears and stuff in this one. So you gotta really, really get down in this mold. I haven't um, ever done a gear one before. That's it for the top. Didn't take much, and this is really getting hard. So we're gonna hopefully have enough to finish the bottom of the vase. You gotta be very careful. So I'm used to pouring with resin. You have to be very careful that you don't, since all my stuff here is so close, you really wanna be careful not to drip and mix, especially if you're making something for someone. Like the pink ones are for someone else that I'm asked and requested them. So I'm kind of, you know, like I'm good at doing this because I've done it many, many times, but be careful when you are making a project, keep them separate um, so then that you don't, you know, once you, you don't want to mix and then all of a sudden um, you just ruined it and you have to start all over. Especially when they're, you know, got to really push down because this one does have those gear, gears on the bottom. So you want to make sure the resin gets there. It looks like I will have to use another color. Um just to finish it off, but that's fine. Let's mix, what do we got left? Since we're doing that, a little, little swirl in there like that. We will push off again like we did before. I do have, let's see here, we have the gray. The gray might finish it here. Almost, it's getting there. Super close. I'm really trying to work it, try to get all the bubbles out because I really kind of want it to work. I have no idea if this is going to work. I haven't ever dabbled with this kind of stuff where you slide it. All right, I'd like a little bit more on top. See if we have any more blue. I'd like to. I'd like to finish it off with a little bit of blue. Now, 
to finish this set of the video, I'm going to just kind of do a little twirl here. That looks flush. The bottom one does not. So we're going to move a few little pieces. We're going to take our stick and we are just going to scrape like so. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to light it up one more time. Now there will be bubbles. I know there will be bubbles because I did not vacuum this up. I'm just going to hope that the bubbles aren't that bad. All right, there we are, folks. We have a few pieces, and then we will take a look in a few days and see, and see what they look like. All right, we, this is a couple days later, letting them dry, and we're gonna open these up. So I'm gonna open the first one here, pop it out of the mold, with a big reveal on what it looks like here. There it is. It, the gold gave it a nice little shine. Not bad. I'm gonna put it on the side here. Let's uh move it up. The next one we have is this one. So there's that side and we're going to pop it out here. Pull it right out of the mold. Right there it is. The gold didn't, didn't wow me. I don't think because the gold is a gold, it just kind of veined it out a little bit. So not super impressive on the pink and gold one, so I'm gonna we'll do another one. Here is the green and gray one that we did. Again, not super impressed with this one, but. The mold itself is pretty cool. I mean, I definitely like it, or you can make your own uh, sockets. So there's that. Here's the next one we did. So let's, this one's gonna take a little bit more finessing to get out, just the way the molds are. I'm gonna do it off camera here and why finesse it out of its holster. Okay, that's it. you pulling them out, you gotta be gentle. There it is. This one actually looks pretty cool. And I gave it a, a thick enough base here. And I just need to trim off a little bit on the sides here, but. Okay, that's not, that's not a hole. It's got one little hole right there, one little circle dot. Um, but majority of it, that looks pretty. What do you think of this one, folks? This one's kind of cool, I think. You know, and it has the pink, kind of look like a uh, little uh, flower pieces to it. I think this one turned out pretty cool. And you just put little uh, candles in them. And I, I gave this one a nice base. So this one's more hard. Um, easily you can hold a tea light. And these things do float, which is pretty cool. So you can put them like in a bath with you or, you know, just in a water and you just let it sit, uh, sit there in the water. It's pretty cool. So that one is a really nice piece. We had two more. We had this one that we did, and we had this one that we did. Uh, what we will do in another video, I'll do uh, Hunter Green and a, because you can see that there is lines in it, but just not enough. I'll do Black and Green um, to really pop. Okay, we're gonna open up this part first. Let's see what we get.
Okay, it is smooth in the inside. There's the base. There's the topper. Just peel that off. And this is just to make a jar, so. That's a pretty cool looking headpiece there. And, and it looks like it can. We're gonna open this one. We're gonna be off camera probably just to uh, do it so it's nicer. So future oak, so I know this is gonna be the top. So if you wanna do something crazy and decorate it more, you could. So, okay, this is the first time I've done one of these. So it has the red red top here and there's the side to it so uh, see if i can get different light there's the inside it's so reflective and so smooth and shiny and then you take your lid let's see if it works it does So you can make your own jars. You can see the different colors that we mixed in. Now it's not perfect because there are little teeny bubbles in it, um, which I was expecting because that's totally smooth. You can just kind of see that there, it looks like there is little bubbles, but Overall, it's really cool. If you, um, I need to build myself, I, it's future plans uh, to build myself a little uh, air pump, like a vacuum pump, so you can pump out all the air out of the resin. Once you do that, you won't have any of this. This was just more experiment to see, hey, does this mold work? Like, this is really cool if I wanna make little jars. And I really, really dig the flowers. Like, th this is a really cool one. I, I like this one a lot. You know. And then we'll, we'll work on getting a better, a better green design. And then I'll do a couple more of these. And we'll see which one we like. So we'll, we'll do another one probably this weekend. And then I'll show it later on. What does everyone else think? Does everyone else, uh, has anyone else tried this? Is anyone else working with them? Does anyone else build their own little pump? You could also let it sit for longer. You can also let it uh, vibrate if you have a little platform that can vibrate where you can hold your resin in and then it just pulls the bubbles out. So your biggest problem is bubbles. And I mean, there's tons of cool ideas. This is a kind of cool little jar. I probably would choose different colors next time. But what colors do you guys want me to try? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Stay crafting. Hi, thanks for watching that last video. If you liked it, why don't you hit the like button? If you don't want to miss out on further content, please subscribe. Or maybe check out the video over here.